The Dart language has introduced null safety, and with it, there is a tool called Dart Migrate. Now, in this video, I want to migrate a package with using the migration tool. I will kind of assume that you know the, everything there is to know about null safety, and I will just focus on the package and go really fast. Hopefully fast. All right. So here we have a package. Uh, assume that it is on pub.dev. It is not an app, right? It's not the time right now in December to 2020 to migrate any apps to null safety, but packages, sure. So this package does something. It has basically just one class, and right now it's not migrated to null safety. It is, we are using the latest version of Dart in the beta version, uh, again, D December 2020, uh, the only version of Dart that has null safety in it is beta. It's not in stable yet. And, but you can see that even if I do Dart run example, which is the example that this package provides, it will work because Dart by default will run your app in the mode where it kind of stands. This app was built in the non-null safe history before null safety. And so therefore it will run in Dart without null safety. And the, the way that Dart kind of finds out how to run your package is with this number alone. So this is basically saying uh, the SDK that I, I am compatible with, th the package says, the package says I am compatible with anything Dart 2.10 to 3.0, right? And uh, this could be 2.7, it could be 2.1, doesn't matter. Until you have 2.12 here, it, your code will be assumed to be non-null safe and it will run in a non-null safe manner. So right now we have 2.10, all right, and everything works. Now we want to migrate. Let's go and do the Dart migrate thing. So that, that's how you run the migration tool and it will fail now. And the reason it will fail is because it actually tells us in no uncertain terms that we recommend ensuring that every library that you depend on is null safe when you're when you're migrating and it lists all the libraries that we are using that are not null safe and we can look again in the into pub spec and we see that we have two dependencies and they are just some random numbers and they're not null safe apparently and these packages of course depend on other packages and that's why we see all these things here like matcher and meta and path and source and everything like that. So we could just override this and only upgrade our package and therefore be running in this hybrid mode where, where we're depending on non-null safe packages but we're null safe. But that doesn't give you all the, the, the cool stuff that null safety gives you the strong mode, I mean, the the sound null safety. So let's not do that. that, that, that uh, <laughs> let's do exactly what the tool tells us to do. And that is dart pub outdated um, mode null safety. Pub outdated will just tell us which packages are ready for uh, null safety. And they are all of them are ready, are green. And so we'll just use these versions and we'll run pub get, right? We could do pub upgrade and that's the same thing. Uh, now we are depending on null safe versions of packages. We could again run the example and it will still run even though we haven't migrated the code, but again, Dart can run in this hybrid mode. Let's do Dart migrate again. This time should work and it will spit out a URL that we can visit. And this just shows our package and shows the things that the migration tool wants to change. For example, it sees a field called words and it says 
this I want to make this a nullable end instead of instead of not if you don't add anything it's not nullable. I I kind of said that I would just look at the migration tool and not explain our safety so let's let's do that it wants to make this nullable and you can actually see here hopefully you can see it, the reasons for it right so it says well it's a field formal it uh, and line 21 it's an optional formal parameter and that therefore it must be nullable line 21 is this line and that makes sense it, this is a named parameter which means it's optional and it doesn't have um, default value so it it would be easy for someone to to create this class without assigning any value to words and so the migration tool just says yeah I, I want to make this nullable and now uh, to be clear I could just apply the migration and call it a day but I want to make this as as nice as possible the the reason I don't like this is because I actually know that words should not be nullable and I don't like how here in the calculate method we need to use the bank operator everywhere which would if it was null at some point this would th throw a null error right or exception so no we don't want to do that so instead we can ask the migration tool I'm, I'm clicking on the question mark and I'm saying add the um, what's it called the bank operator hint I do this and I rerun with changes and now it's red and it says like which means it's like you told me that this will be no nullable and and that's 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 high priority for me and therefore I will change everything around so that this can happen so we added the hint and all it needed to do our migration tool is it added the required keyword for the named parameter nice and now we can see that it's no longer needs the bank operator everything works like that so that's great if you look at the code actually uh, you see that the migration tool actually changed the source code and we could do it the other way around we could add the hint here save and rerun from sources and now it's the exact same thing we just we can just do this and this is how the migration tool should be used is it's kind of iteratively like you kind of switch between the two your IDE and the tool uh, you can say things like okay so um, what about if I add the the default value and you rerun from sources again and now you see okay it's here and therefore the periods is not anymore not nullable it is non nullable but in our case it doesn't make sense really to add um, like a zero here so once again we will run from sources and say I want this to be non nullable we run with changes and then it even adds the late keyword and again we could we could work out if we want that or not otherwise everything seems to be fine and now when we're done and we're really happy after many iterations we apply migration we see this null safety migration applied it's kind of hidden when it when it comes up but I mean th there's no confetti nothing like that so uh, it's a bummer uh, and all our code has been updated and not only our code if we go to the pub spec YAML you see that the SDK constraints have been changed so therefore we are saying our code is now null safe please run it in null safe mode we run pub get and we can verify that dart run example example runs just fine now it runs in sound null safe mode last thing to do there is a test that is that is not able to be compiled because it doesn't make sense anymore uh, we were trying to 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 make sure that null cannot be safely passed to this to, to this class but now it's it's not even possible to compile such a thing so we can just remove that test thanks for watching I hope that this cleared some things I th th
there's there's a bunch of um, you know it's 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 not super easy to use it's 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 a kind of like a power user tool but it is really powerful and as you could see it, it really saves a lot of time so if you have packages on pub.dev please go and start migrating to node safety